Hello, it's the Psalmist Oracle here with a unboxing reading. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time specific or sign specific, so please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. Lulu is on it, y'all. We have <laughs> two more decks to join the party. Shout out to Tamika again. I had to go and check the mailbox for these because these came in from Etsy so they don't deliver it to the door. And I was pleasantly surprised to see them. So thank you again. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, she got the original tarot, um, the golden one. And she also got these two amazing decks that I'm very curious to find out what's inside they have fancy tins so you already know listen i'm spoiled we're spoiled at this point <laughs> but we're not mad about it at all at all it's not even christmas but it feels like christmas so thank you thank you thank you thank you i can't wait to get my hands on these i said i'm not going to open them fully um until i start so we're gonna start off with this one okay this one is called well, they're both called Exile, Returning to Myself. I'm going to see. I'm curious if it's uh, a tarot and an oracle. I'm not sure. But we're going to find out. <laughs> I'm not going to cut that out. <laughs> it's like, dang, brace yourself <laughs> for the deck to just pop on out. This deck's been waiting to be used by me. Okay, clearly. Clearly. Wow, very fancy instructions. I never read these, but I probably should. Oh, it's in Japanese. It's in Japanese. You see, Lulu's going to be all over this. Can you read it for us? You're straight from Japan. Okay. <laughs> She's like, dang, it's been a minute. I'm rusty. Okay, well, we're, we'll figure it out together. These instructions are in Japanese which is so dope, but look how beautiful. Look how awesome that is. Okay, it does say Two of Swords, Ace of Swords. This is definitely a tarot deck. All right, that's one. <laughs> Can you tell I'm happy? Yes, we're very happy, we're very excited. So the black or the more gray tin is uh, tarot. I'm not gonna smack myself this time. All right, this is so cool. What is this one? Instructions. Wow, this is an, wait, are they both? I think they're both tarot or am I tripping? I think you ordered two, Tamika. I'm not tripping. One is of the dark and one is of the light. They're identical, dang near. yeah look at this you see this one's got dark wings and this one's got light wings i'm definitely going to contact you about this very interesting okay so eeny meeny miny mo well we're going to start with the gray one because that's the one i started with let's see what the ten of cups looks like from this deck beautiful all right, well, thank you, thank you again. <laughs> They're both tarot. They both have like similar instructions. I'm gonna start off with this one because I feel like they're still different in nature because one of them is darker and the other one is light. But let's see, let's see. Oh, this is gonna be real fun. I'm gonna take a second to shuffle these. Give me two minutes. And we're back and ready to rumble. I wasn't gonna <laughs> take five minutes to shuffle. 
so I shuffled, but it's a set, so they come in pairs. And one is like a slighter, darker version, and the other one is a light. So not to confuse the cards or mix them, I'm going to be using this one first. Okay. So let's go. I already peeked some of the images. They're really, really cool. <laughs> Lulu's very satisfied. She's like 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Let's see, what overall energy do we have for the collective? I'm just gonna make this a general message. Whatever wants to come through. It could be you, it could be someone else in your energy. I'm getting a somber energy. I'm already seeing the hermit, the king of swords, the emperor, and the devil. I'm getting the energy of a breakthrough. I feel like someone's evolving and I feel like this is a masculine collective. There's something this person didn't want to have to look at about themselves, but I feel like they have. In the Hermit, it's a very like sad, dark, ominous card, but to me, it's giving me an energy of someone who chose to like sit with themselves for a bit. It gives me the energy of solitude. With the King of Swords, this doesn't have to be an air sign, but I'm definitely getting Ice King energy. I feel like this person had to be quite sharp with other individuals to get to this space of solitude. So this person had to exercise the ability to say no, to reject. With the Goat Man, this almost looks like a snippet out of a storybook of Hansel and Gretel which for some of you who don't know, I feel like this story originates from Germany or, yeah, I think so. Anyway, it's a European um, story, folklore story. And there's something ugly about this person's past that I feel they have to revisit because it restricted them. And then I see the emperor with what looks to be a very icy looking heart and this person's bowing down. It almost looks like an explosion took place. And I really get the energy of the evolution of a masculine. Someone could have had like a breakthrough where their heart center is concerned. Like something feels like their heart was closed off for a very long time based on what happened to them in the past. But I'm seeing a breakthrough. And the way this person is bowing down to this heart is quite interesting this person could have typically been very cold i wanted to use the word which is not a word that i throw around very often but i feel like this is someone who could have come off very like heartless or um less than empathetic okay maybe very apathetic or just careless when it comes to matters of the heart concerning others dang yeah we have the strength card here can i get an overall energy Lulu's like having a staring contest with someone. <laughs> I just know it. It's like, I'm watching you. <laughs> Let's see. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck. Justice. I heard someone is seeking balance in their life. This almost looks like a lab or some kind of office space. justice three of wands this is someone who could be on some kind of quest or could be traveling or could be turning their back i feel like they're heading down a new direction to seek and restore balance in their life it almost reads like vacation but not exactly because this person is working 
I don't know if this person is working, studying as they transition, but this looks to me like a train. It looks to me like someone on a train. <laughs> okay. This is the Eight of Coins. We have the Six of Cups. Seven of Wands. This person could be going somewhere that, um, in a, in a way, depicts revisiting the past. With the Seven of Wands, I'm seeing like people <laughs> defending their fort. I don't know if you can see it. This looks like a couple defending their fort, throwing rocks at these down here, trying to get to them. Ten swords and eight swords. It's almost like, I feel like someone could have gone away for a while and they're returning to a place where they feel now they need to have their boundaries. I, I get the energy of someone could have taken like a solo trip. This could be a very specific reading. There could be a Scorpio involved. The Scorpio just sent a message. Either way, I get an energy of someone could have gone away from a situation to find themselves. And I'm seeing upon return, this person feels like they're returning to like a crime scene of a situation because it's like since they've created this distance, they, they no longer want to attach themselves to the same people or place that either they don't gel with anymore. It gives me an energy of now that I've gone away and I know what it means to have these kind of boundaries, I don't want to have these people disrupt my peace. The Ten of Swords is here. This could cause an ending. This could cause an ending with the people they're returning to. Either way, this person went on some kind of quest to seek balance in their life. You see how this man has his back turned and it looks like he's going in a boat towards something new. This is someone who wants to restore balance in their life. Okay. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm getting again a lot of the childhood coming back in here. There was an imbalance that took place from when they were a kid. Ooh, I'm getting chills. And it's almost like this person overextended themselves even when they were a child. So it's like I'm getting this maternal energy in the middle this person could have been taught by a parent to overextend themselves this could be a people pleaser um this could be someone who practically speaking they give of themselves a lot but i'm getting the energy of takers okay so the six of pentacles in the reverse is being taken for granted whether financially energetically yeah temperance again an energy of balance wants to be restored here. We have the three of coins. This is something that... A person has always kind of been a part of making other people look good. This is going to be a very deep reading. <laughs> I can already tell. I'm getting the vibe. The person I'm picking up on is this individual. This is someone who's winding her up to put on a performance. It's like this person has always been in the background making other people look good. Whether it be, oh, I'm in a position to give this person this role, but I'm in the background. Or, oh, this person took credit for my work, but I'm the one who did all the work. This person overextends themselves where I feel their job or money is concerned, given the people they collaborate with. It's like they're always taking up more than they can chew. But practically speaking, they're like the kind of person in class who does all the work in the group and then they present it. But who did all the work behind the scenes? This person. This is an individual who's very good at what they do. 
but other people take credit for it or they make other people shine. Knight of Wands. There's something that a person bravely wants to pursue. With the Ten of Cups, it has nothing to do with these people. You see how this Knight of Wands is like heading into the forest with his wand and he's really excited. It's like he's moving forward to end, like whatever the Ten of Cups represents for him or her. Okay. It's almost reads like rebellion. This person is rebelling from a group of people to do what they want to do. It's like walking to the beat of their own drum, sharing something with those that actually resonate with them to their core. The Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment. It's almost like this person could have been used to an upbringing where there could have been a lot of other siblings or other peers. Um, for some of you, this person could have been an orphan. I don't know where that string of energy is coming from, but it's like they felt like there were always so many others around. They never had the ability to shine. And even as I said that, I got chills all the way to my thighs. They're so used to being on the back of the bus. It was never about their needs. It was never about their desires. It was never about their wants. They make other people look good. And if you resonate with this, it's like you doing something away from a group or away from a cluster or away from the herd is considered rebelling against them. I feel like this person grieves what could be beyond this point. Because whatever the Knight of Wands does, it's never long lasting. It's always short lived. This person's in the Five of Cups for the things that actually excite them. Do you see how it's like a border here? Whoever this person is, it's like they're a shell of themselves. They're fading away and they can't get towards what they want unless they walk away permanently with the Eight of Cups. It's almost like again they would have to walk away from what they always knew to be the case i feel like this person has rotated in different communities or in different environments where they were always in the back whether it be in their family they prioritize what other people want whether it be at work they prioritize other people looking good like it really reads like that and they always get left out in the cold as a result, their desires aren't met because they were raised and bred to believe that their desires are not important or not as important as another's. This person was emotionally unavailable up until a certain point because I feel this Five of Cups reads like longing. Whatever this Knight of Wands found in Rebellion, they don't have it anymore. And it put them in a space of longing. This person reads like a caged bird in whatever society or dynamic they know. This person could work a lot. It's like, I'm doing what I'm good at. This person does what they're good at. For some of you, they travel for work. This person could be very technically advanced. Maybe they're an engineer. There's something about them and what they do. They're very good at it. They're very well skilled at this. They could have studied a lot for this. I'm seeing so many books stacked up here. This person is very well educated in whatever field this is. But I get the energy of, again, like behind the scenes, like let's say this person is like an engineer at Tesla <laughs> and they are maybe, you know, in some kind of area of innovation and it's like they're really, really good, <laughs> but you wouldn't know they're behind this. Like this, this is interesting. 
spirit frequently visits this person with the temperance angel but i'm also feeling with the queen of wands there's something this person could have been introduced to or someone rather to spark some kind of like zest in their life it's like your life is to work 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 and make money and make others look good but the temperance angel's like hey i'm gonna do something in your life so that you can switch it up a bit it was an act of balance and i'm seeing a queen of wands five of coins i heard let me show you what you're missing This person feels like there's something, yeah, it's like they can't pursue that or pursue this person without almost like manipulating the situation to accommodate it. It's almost like, well, you see this group of people would not approve of that or approve of that person. I need to manipulate my way into like getting a taste of it. It's again, something they lack. And I always almost want to like see what it is they lack. But to me, it reads more like emotional fulfillment. There could have been something that took place. Maybe someone else ruined an opportunity for them to obtain that situation. You see how someone purposely burnt this house or like did something here shady? It's like, let me ruin your opportunity of getting that at all. Someone in their world maybe ruined the opportunity for them to like pursue something new. What is this? Judgment. Damn. Two of Cups, they could have found a soulmate. There was something very nurturing about this connection. You see how this woman looks like an angel? There was something soothing to the soul. It's almost like whatever this love was that they found was healing their inner child in some way, shape, or form. It's like the connection they found away from this group was healing them. It maybe made them feel safe or emotionally cared for, which is something they haven't experienced as a child. I'm telling you, this is bringing me to this person's inner childhood wounds. It's like a new teaching style. It's like, let me show you a new side of life. Let me teach you something new. And it was a loving and nurturing experience. This group could have judged this person. Um, this was some kind of call that this group made. It's almost like whatever this was, it was reviewed by others. <clears throat> There's something on the ground. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. There's a, now I don't know how to take it, but there's definitely a Queen of Pentacles that has something to say about this. This could be a sibling. This could be a parent. This could be someone in their world who deals with their practical matters. With the Ace of Swords. It's almost like someone hammered home a decision for them. It's almost like this person doesn't really feel like they had a sense of choice at all. Two of Swords. Someone denied them the opportunity to move forward towards likely an Ace of Cups experience. There's something this person could have prayed for. It's almost like someone could have jaded their perspective or rejected them or tried to keep them in two minds about pursuing 
it's almost like someone was trying to put them down like there's no way that could work out this is a really unpractical person for you or nothing about this situation would accommodate your world it was a very negative energy but it's also a greedy energy because a crooked queen of pentacles is someone who is money hungry not grounded unnurturing they lack compassion they're very materialistic this is someone in their world who was a naysayer to a blessing i feel like this is someone yeah with the eight of swords to the ten of swords this person felt restricted in their mind and some kind of ending could have taken place with a, with a six of cups ace of cups it's like the opportunity for love dried up someone could have also given a given a person an ultimatum like if you pursue that you can't come back like do you see how these two block this person it's like if you go away you cannot return or you're gonna get cut off in some way or you are no longer gonna be a part of this group whether it be this family this job like there's some kind of ultimatum this person was presented with that put them in a corner and it stems from people judging this person for even thinking that that world exists or that kind of love is worth pursuing. I almost feel like this lump in the throat energy, this person's very sad that their environment makes them feel this way. Hierophant, this is maybe a religious thing. There are people here with very rigid ways of thinking. There is a spiritual lesson in this for this person. But I feel like this person could have also like contractually tethered themselves to this group. Wow. I don't know why, but I really feel a level of importance. I got the Empress. With the Nine of Wands, this person has never given up on the pursuit of the Divine Feminine. It's here. But at the same time, I don't know if this person was in two minds about whether or not this was an ordained partnership. Has this person since gotten the clarity that this is their person? yes the lovers to the ten of cups this person knows this is their soulmate this person knows that they will be going against the whole group of people but they know it would be worth it because they know in their it's like in their bones they feel it in their bones that this is their ordained spouse we have the ten of cups again with the chariot my gosh Four of Wands. Need I say more? I'm getting a lot of chills. They know this is their person. They... It almost reads like if I had to do forever with them with the Seven of Coins, it's like if I had to invest in them, I know this could go somewhere fruitful. This person might want to marry this person. Like it's really that deep. Like maybe that's why these other people were this strongly against it because they know that this person wants to marry this individual. This person might have to suffer some kind of financial loss or like the irony, exile. <laughs> Is that not the name of the deck? Exile, this person would, ooh, what are the odds? Oh, look at the chills. Spirit is like, yep, that's exactly what you're feeling. This person would be exiled. It's crazy that I'm reading it like that, but this is what I felt. This person would be exiled, left in the dirt by this community, but divinely guided with these five stars nonetheless. So what are they to do? I really feel this energy of feeling torn at the seams like this person feels so torn 
but they know who this is to them. They haven't given up on it. Seven of Cups to Justice. This person's trying to figure out who they need to go to, what they need to pursue to restore balance. For some of you, this person could be suffering from legal matters. Yeah, maybe this person needs money or they need some kind of lease on life, a new lease on life, a new start. It's like, how can I get this Ace of Coins started? Who do I need to go to to get something approved even? For some of you, this group of people are quite in the higher ups. Like they would maybe need someone's consent. Yeah. This is someone who some kind of lump sum of money or settlement or opportunity for that new start was denied. And I say that because the Ten of Swords is here. This person was betrayed or denied this opportunity for that new start that would accommodate them and their counterpart. I get this very defeatist energy, like it doesn't matter what I do, there's something screwing me over. It doesn't matter where I go or where I turn. There's someone trying to like stab me in the back. It's like even this ace, someone betrayed them. With the nine of wands, this person is still going. It's like, as I said, this person is learning what it means to be resilient, how to persevere. This person is learning lessons on strength. Um, this is a heavy energy. Yeah. There's some kind of like last chance that they feel in their heart. It's like something, someone betrayed them in a way that really did it for them. This person's torn in the heart. I don't know if they feel upset because they feel like they disappointed their counterpart, hence the pain being that much more worse. Like, come on guys, 10 swords, three swords, it's heavy energy. And it hit this person where it hurt. I don't know what they did to discourage this person so much. It's very intense. This this group of people are uh, powerful. Yeah, it's a there's a lesson of strength here. I don't know if this person's journey is just meant to be that very hard. It almost reads like you, like it's giving this didn't work, this got discouraged, that didn't work, they passed judgment, this da da da. Like, and it even reads like financial efforts have been halted. Financial grants, maybe this person was looking for a loan and somebody found a way to screw it over. This taught this person strength. I also feel like their counterpart gives them strength energetically. Whether you're aware of it or not, you're giving this person strength. I also feel like synchronicities, even on monitors, like let's say this person sees your name or the radio plays your favorite song. This gives this person strength to keep going. You see all these monitors here? It's like you speak to this person, if this is your message, through synchronicities. Damn. And I say that because the High Priestess is here, which is a very intuitive spirit. It's a very old soul. Um, it's all knowing as well. Wow. <laughs> it's like this person 
it's like bits of them are left for strength but they keep going because you give them strength like your connection gives them strength more than you're maybe aware of because i don't even know if you're aware of just how many times this person could have given up on themselves like it really reads very discouraging whatever this group of people do plot scheme it's like if this person had something valuable they burned it shredded it ripped it to pieces just to screw them over let's say this person had an opportunity to move build a new home or like rent an apartment they screwed it over like when i tell you the amount of moments i'm seeing in these cards where someone completely railroaded them to discourage them from getting to the finish line i.e this connection is insane nine swords this person could be consumed by thoughts of you it's almost like their thoughts put them in their feelings you see how this person's like drowning in their emotions and this water looks crazy it's like their thoughts put them in an emotional space when it comes to you you could be someone who's typically like very confident with the queen of fire here ace of swords there's something about you like being very strong and them not feeling like they match up to your strength yet and i feel with the strength card like everything they've endured and they're still standing is a testament to how strong they really are and they don't recognize that themselves because again this person has been bred to believe that they need to be in the background seven of swords it's a lie this person doesn't feel important i don't know if you've seen the movie the help is it the help where that kid like this this nanny was like you're smart you're strong you're important like you're kind like there are things this person should have heard when they were a child for them to have a higher self-esteem for them to love themselves and value themselves more than they do for them to grow a sense of like self-worth and authority in the spirit that they haven't had before the seven of swords is a woman holding a lantern putting her head on a child and the seven of swords is known to be deceptive so it's like whatever they were taught from when they were a kid is deceptive so this person had the opposite of words of encouragement. This person could have been, look at the chills for confirmation. This person could have been in a community where they were taught to, be, to play it small. This person has been like sleeping on themselves is like an expression for the longest time. Like this person is stronger than they think it's giving me this energy of like winnie the pooh <laughs> you're smarter than you believe you're stronger than you seem you're smarter than you think you're braver or something like that like these things this person didn't get they got the opposite i heard the word nuisance maybe this person was bred to believe that they're a nuisance i really feel this energy of this person being around other kids other like i don't know if they were in a family of a lot of siblings or they were at an orphanage i just feel like other people going for it and like being competitive and being at the center of attention and they're in the background either catering to them um <laughs> I wasn't prepared for such a heavy message, but it's here. It's here. This is something this person didn't didn't want to revisit. And that's why I from the top of the reading when I saw the King of Swords, the Emperor, the Hermit, and that dark childhood. It's like if they were to revisit it, unpack it, and make sense of it, they would 
dismantle a lot of these self-limiting beliefs. It's like if I were to look at it, examine it, and give my inner child that sense of compassion it never got, I would chip away at the things that hinder me from moving forward, having that strength and authority in the spirit, learning when to say no, learning when to walk to the beat of my own drum, like this power, they had none. That and they were emotionally shut down. So this person, it's like at their core, all these things, all these hurdles, all these like, potholes in their road is teaching them lessons as they go forward and um, I'm wondering how this is to move forward from here this person could be watching the page of swords almost reads like you could be a source of inspiration for a lot of the things this person puts out this person could even be an artist this person could maybe write music for other people. Like I get this energy of someone who gets inspired by what you do. This person could be watching you. Yeah. With the Six of Cups and the Seven of Wands, your connection is being protected. And I don't know how to explain it other than this person, if they don't get over this or clean up their life or like find that strength, it's like until then your connection is in a bubble with the seven of wands is again you see these two protecting the fort and the six of cups is here is an energy of like past life soulmates your connection is like put on a shelf energetically until balance is restored i heard it's a requirement so this person could still be seeking their justice until the environment is in a better position for them to pursue the connection properly. Until then, you're still in ways a source of inspiration. Eight swords. Six of wands. The sun. The fact that you're shining. You could be shining all painful you could be shining you could be doing your thing this makes them again it brings them back to the restrictive mind um the self-limiting beliefs when they watch you they're inspired by you but it's also a reminder that they don't necessarily have that level of strength and passion that you exude but they have it they just haven't revisited that side fully enough for them to not feel this way. Because this person feels small. Look at her. This is the Eight of Swords. This person feels small when you are the sun. When you are in the Six of Wands. You see this? This looks like a feminine energy. This is someone with like a lot of passion, victory, um, recognition you could make intimidate them a little bit with the five of wands this person is still struggling um with their own battles and hang-ups from the past feeling restricted again look at this image again a card of restriction you are not this the sun is like a powerhouse of energy you have a lot to express to the world i feel in what you do you could have um, manifested a new timeline or a new portal energy for you to like do amazing things in your career in life in general like your energy reads very much so positive compared to theirs they feel like they're locked out of heaven locked out of the sun and it's like they can't move forward till they uh, deal with those hang-ups can i get a clarifier from my deck in this energy because this is this person feels like stuck like chuck um until they really get through this yeah we have the eight of cups the tower to the high priestess 
there's definitely something i heard jailbreak look at them again i'm telling you different deck this is them you could have let go energetically of this person with the eight of cups this could have caused a tower moment with the high priestess you know this like you intuitively know something about a tower moment that could have occurred maybe you felt it This person is restricted until this ace makes it their way. This is that new lease on life. It's like they need to be patient because the lesson is still getting processed in this eight of swords until the divine grants them the opportunity. This person might feel ungrounded in their finances. This person might have a child with a karmic. I get the king of pentacles in the reverse. Why is the six of wands here again from a different deck? Seven of swords. I'm getting again the energy of sabotage. Look at the sun and the reconciliation energy. But look at the seven of swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Two of Swords. I heard the word self-sabotage. It's interesting because the same light that guides this connection to come together is the same light that puts this person to self-sabotage and get in their head about this person has a really low self-esteem. It's like it's this, the same light that has beautiful memories of the past is the same light that's damn near too blinding for this person, making them look for alternative means of fulfillment it's like i got the real deal over there but i'll i'll deal with the the mock version of it to cope with me not being able to pursue it when they would have to grow up and grow out of their self-sabotage their limiting belief systems this is someone who it's like while you shine it's blinding to them when that same shine is once upon a time what had you guys in bliss together. This person puts you on a pedestal and that's partially part of the problem. This person has also financial obligations with the same group. Yep, with the same group that I feel you're being protected from. For some of you, like, I feel like everybody has a timeline for when they grow and they reach their peak. And I feel like your energy and the connection itself is being protected from this person's world. Because this person's world feels pretty dark. It feels very, like, restricting. And not only that, but the mental state of this person restricts them further. So it's like, unless they heal those wounds expand their mind and not be threatened by your glow this person will continuously self-sabotage look for other means of fulfillment and collaborate with this group in them shrinking themselves and playing small i said what i said that's exactly what i'm reading that's exactly what i'm reading <laughs> the two of swords i don't want to see this collective shining the way they do. The Seven of Swords could be deceit and lies or like self-deception. In what way? Alternative and Seven of Cups means a fulfillment. This could have happened since you let go of them. Since you've energetically pulled away. It's like that was for them an invitation. This tower moment was an invitation for them to rebuild themselves. And meet you where you're at with the High Priestess. Instead, they took an alternative route. For a lot of you, you know that you knew this. And you're being protected. 
until then. For some of you, you know that's why you're being protected. Maybe you know a truth about this person. <laughs> the irony, I saw the... I saw the Four of Swords to the Nine of Wands, which is that same person who refuses to give up. And I'm telling you, this person, for a lot of you, you are encouraged to move forward, which I feel you already know. You're encouraged to let this person go. I feel you already know. A Tower moment had this happen. Despite it all, they still have not given up. Like, I don't know how to explain it. And I feel this person... Once they're in the nine of coins, then this 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 ace will be granted. It's like the, the the new lease on life won't be given to them until they've done the internal work to be in the nine of coins because this is where they're at. This is who they are. This is what they're encouraged to be. Independent and self-sufficient, mentally, emotionally, maybe even financially away from these people. Until they seek for their independence, they're still restricted in the mind in their surroundings and until then they won't get this new lease on life for some of you they had this opportunity but because they weren't like strong enough tactful enough the, the people they surround themselves with got close to it to ruin it this person trusts the wrong people this person is manipulated by these people because it, it dates back to the manipulation they were exposed to as a child. So it's like, if I know Lulu is very insecure about her ears and she wants to go up on stage and shine and do amazing things, I'm going to tell her, hey, Lulu, guess what? Your ears look funny today. There's no way you could go up on stage. These people play on this person's insecurities time and time again. And that's why they fumble the bag, i.e. you. And if this reading resonated with you start to finish, it is not your job for this person to figure out that their ears are just fine. That's a them thing. Until then, you got to keep going. You're being like protected from this person's world. This person knows who you are to them. And this person hasn't given up on you. Does that mean they'll meet you? at some point down y'all's paths maybe they'll intercept again could be but until then this is their life and they watch you one card wish granted the outcome may not be exactly what you want but it's what you need look at this person packing their bags and leaving this could be you heck this could be them but if anything, if there's something you should know, you inspire this person. And I would say lead by example. I feel like you're going your own way. But you see how travel comes into play? This person could have packed lightly. I really feel this energy of this is them. Like they went, but they came back. This is something this person maybe does. Like they go away for a little bit, but then they return to the same restricting environment. With highest good, embrace the journey with openness, trusting the universe to lead you towards your greatest fulfillment. <sighs> what could I say? Fantasy land. Make sure everyone involved is being realistic and on the same page. I feel like this person treated y'all's connection as like a getaway, not as reality. Not grounding it saving grace forgiving yourself and others heals the wounds and sets you free this is for them because they're the ones in a chokehold and if you feel like you need to forgive this person because you know this is the life this is their past you know everything about like set yourself free from this person walking unscathed you are fortunate trap you are fortunate a trap was laid out for you but you were too smart to fall for it This, I feel, again, you mirror each other. This could be you, this could be them. You can walk free away from this situation. I feel in the Eight of Cups, you already did, but they too are divinely protected in some way, shape, or form. Like, I feel like what this person endured, they shouldn't even be, a, they shouldn't be around. Like, that's how weird, weird this energy feels. 
if they do the work, they too can walk away a free person. Protected, yes. Divinely protected. Y'all's connection is protected. This person needs to use their free will wisely. And until then, you're moving on. That's what I'm reading here. That's what I have for you. If this reading resonated, don't forget to like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you again, Tamika. This deck is amazing. I have no words. This is a very in-depth um, deck. It tells a lot of stories, <laughs> for sure. Um, so thank you again. I absolutely love them. And next time I'll use this one just to give a little bit of variety. All right. Thank you. Bye.